Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Was Hack. Um, a couple of you have been asking, where am I? The holiday season is over. Well, I'm right here, don't worry. But um, the reason it's taken me so long to come back is, you know, real life has been doing its thing, kicking my ass, being obstructive, confusing me, just general miscellaneous stuff that life does. Um, that's been kind of blocking me on the getting to sort of record and things front. Anyway, here I am for some more Wozhack. I do have some new stuff lined up now that we're in the new year, including one of my most requested series, a follow-up to an earlier series, but I need to practice, make sure I've got the voice still. So, um, let's just get started, shall we? I've actually returned to vanilla Wozhack here. You will probably remember that we were experimenting with um, the pre-release version of an update to Wozhack uh, before the holidays. And, as far as I know, that's still a thing that's ongoing, but um, this time I, I just thought, get back to basics. I do feel like my best chance for actually finishing was hack, you know, getting to the bottom of the dungeon, getting out again, is probably going to be the wizard, in which case I might as well stick with the more stable um, actual release version of was hack here on Distora. So this is what we're doing for now. I'm not ruling out returning to the update at some point, but for now, Vanilla Wasshack. I didn't notice the name found wizard. Oh, how am I going to be able to memorialize him correctly when he inevitably meets his doom? Get away. Get away from me. Come on, cat. Help me out. Okay. All right. Um... So, what do we have on us? I've kind of forgotten what all the characters start with. Okay, we start with the Wand of Magic Missile. Okay. And we've picked up a few potions and a couple of scrolls. So, let's try out the potions. Uh, potion speed. Seems like we actually didn't hit the blob with it. Oh no, we did, according to the messages. Oh uh, well, never mind. Potion of Confusion should compensate. I mean, not that this thing is a huge problem anyway. I mean, it's not really much of a danger. But we've identified some potions there, so that's fine. Um, I do want to try out the scrolls, but as I'm sure you're aware from previous runs through Wozhack, I like to wait a little bit longer, because if one of them is a scroll of identifying, I don't want to waste it when I don't have anything that needs identifying. Or at least, nothing useful to identify. So, just continue battling all these beasties. Goblin innards are fine, so we'll take those, we'll immediately scoff them down. There we go. And we'll press on. I actually did quite a bit of roguelike playing over the festive season. Um, went to visit family, as you do. And I had a handful of sort of, um, what would you call them, classic roguelikes on my laptop to keep me busy while I was there. So I've been playing a bit of NetHack. Um, not very much, because I don't survive extremely long in that. Been playing a bit of Hack, which was the precursor to NetHack. Um, been playing Moria a little bit, which of course was the foundation for Angband later on. One of the big roguelikes. That kind of thing. I've also been trying to experiment with Omega, but it's quite a pain in the balls. Uh, run away, run away... But NetHack in particular was one that I wanted to check out. Um, I had played it for a couple of minutes previously, but it's very much the inspiration for Wozhack, I think. I'll take the wooden sword, actually. Um, should be useful to us. Now, it's worth using the scrolls here. Um, basically, if one of them is an identify them, we can at least find out if our wooden sword is cursed or not. So let's give it a go. Enchant weapon. Enchanted the wrong weapon! Ugh, alright. I'll tell you what. I am going to just equip the sword, because even if it's cursed, I'll probably want to continue using it anyway. So, let's do that. Identify. Okay. Um, well, we know that that's uncursed now, so that's fine. I'll identify the wand, I guess. Create monster. I'm glad I didn't just try that out. What about the lamp? Uncursed oil lamp. Fine. Um... Might be worth me identifying our two gems as well to find out whether they'll actually be valuable to sell, because that is something that I tend to do a lot. Um, that is probably an error. That is, I sell gems without knowing what they are first, which really detracts from their value if they're actually something that we could get a lot of money for. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. 
Wozhack is very much inspired by NetHack. I know enough about NetHack to know that. Um, so I, I wanted to try it out a bit more. Um, but it's it's very hard, and it has some less than ideal design choices. The the UI is absolutely abysmal. Um, not as bad as some other games. Cataclysm has probably a worse UI. Uh, Omega does too. But yeah, o Omega is um, one of the early roguelikes, and um, very interesting, very deep, incredibly difficult. I haven't managed to get out of the starting town yet. Which obviously is the safe bit of the game, and yet I still die there. Sometimes I just die at random walking down the street. That's what Omega is like. Alright, so we've got blue potion. Didn't manage to identify it. So, might actually have to go with the wand, unless our cat can do a number on the spider. Which it can. Alright, more wands. Could do with identifying that. Really. But might give it a go. Uh, I mean, we know it's not going to be a create monster, at least. So that's something. Um, there was a wooden dagger on the floor over here, but obviously I have a wooden sword, so I'm not really that bothered about that. Um, okay. I, I do, however, as usual, kind of want to hold on to my Identify Scrolls for a time when I actually come up against um, unidentified jewellery, because, of course, items of jewellery can be very powerful. And... Um, that's usually what I save my identifies for. I think that's, yeah, Cobalt Zombie. Don't like those things. They're tougher than you might expect from their size. So, Potion of Acid. Okay, that was a good one. Okay, apparently we're just missing the zombie here. I'll use a Potion of Confusion on it. May have hit the cat. Not certain. Looks like the question marks are coming out of the cat. I'll try the black potion on there. Potion of blindness. Okay. Run away, run away. Okay. Um, the bat might be too fat here, so I'm going to use... Fast, rather. Not <laughs> fat. I just can't stand this overweight bat. Get it away from me. Might be too fast. I don't think we can run away, so I'm going to have to magic missile it and hope for the best. Level up at last. So. I'm going to take a level of literacy. Um, although we don't have any kind of spell book yet, I want to be able to read one when we do find one. I don't want to be in that position where I have another level already. Um, that might be worth it, because it will help with wands as well as with magic. But we don't have any magic at the moment, which makes all of these a little questionable. Um, hmm... Hmm. I'm actually going to go with gastronomy at this point. Um, because we're so far not finding a lot of food. So um, I want to be able to maximise whatever I do find. Let's try out this wand. It's not clear what just happened. Well, thanks for that. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I don't want to be in that position where we have found... A spell book, but I'm unable to read it. Okay, let's eat the hill orchids. Okay. Oh no, this could be bad. Alright, they didn't really have much to use against them. Don't have any potions. Uh, I'm really having to rely on the magic missile here because we can hit all of them at once. And these bastards are tough. I don't want to just rely, rely on my cat to deal with them. Plus, of course, that would cost us the level up. Um, I'm going to take magic precision to try and get a bit more benefit out of this wand. But hopefully I won't have to use it for too much longer. Now, wrinkled spellbook. Not sure about the wrinkles, but hopefully it will be a reasonable spell. Ugh, we can't read it yet. Okay. Oh, stop interrupting me, little bastard. Okay, can I read now? Come on. Raise the dead. No. No. Not what I wanted. Raise the dead, from what I understand, is a fairly powerful spell that basically summons skeletons and zombies. I think I've used it once or twice before. But the problem, as regular viewers will probably remember is that 
Um, skeletons, I assume the same happens with the zombies, but skeletons for certain turn on you after a while, and they are incredibly powerful. Okay, um, let's read our scroll of identify. Identify this shield. It's cursed. Minus three. I'm glad I identified it then. It felt like it might be a bit of a waste, but that saved us some trouble, because otherwise I was going to just equip it. Uh, what about the rat? Obviously I can't wand the rat without hitting the baker, or at least risking hitting the baker. Come on, kitten, help me out here. You went to kill rodents! Come on! What's wrong with you? Okay, no meat on that rat. But, uh, we should use whatever money we have to buy as much bread as we can afford. Huh. We can afford all of it! Excellent. I'll eat some cheese. Oh, we're still not full yet. Let's eat some more cheese. There we go. I do like to be full. Um, okay, so moving on. Okay, just down, I suppose. We're not finding a lot so far. Um, really, we've all... All we've found that's of any use is the Raise the Dead spell. And as I was about to say, I'm not convinced of its usefulness. This could go badly. Okay, um, might have to take a gamble on one of these being a teleport. Taming? Um, not what I was after, but it's worked. It has worked. Let's have a rest. So, we've actually tamed that ant. Um, which is handy. It at least keeps me alive a bit longer. But yeah, um, I think creatures that you create using the Raise the Dead spell turn on you after a little while. And the skeletons in particular tend to be incredibly powerful. And I just don't think we're in a position to fight them off. Um, not, you know, in, in the absence of other spells. Hey, get back here, Leprechaun. Oh, little fucker. Um, yeah, we, I mean, we don't really have anything else to fight it with. You know? Hey, you. Get oh. Little bastard. Okay, so we have quite a lot of cursed stuff, but that's okay. Alright. Now, oh no, I hate these. Okay, didn't have a chance to read my spell book, which is kind of an issue. Um, Alright. I guess use magic missile to try and score at least a hit. Can the ant help me out with this? You know, the ant seems to be off doing its own thing. But, um, I'll take a level of wizardry, since we seem to be in the process of actually gaining some spells. Now, let's read this spell book, see what it is. Oh. Why can't I read? That ant isn't being an enemy again, is it? No. You have sad feeling for a moment. Fine. Just read the book. Cure sickness. Okay. That is a good spell. But, it's not what I would have been hoping for. Oh my god, these things are so fast. Damn it! Well, I didn't feel like that was a particularly promising run anyway, to be fair. Um, we were struggling. Um, I think a wizard run generally relies on finding good spellbooks, and that was not occurring. Um, I mean, we had Cure Sickness, which is a good spell. It is good, but it's not any use sort of protecting you from enemies or anything. I mean, even even teleport would be more practical than that. And Raise the Dead is such a double-edged sword. It's as dangerous as it is helpful, so I really don't feel good about that one. We were, we were in a tough situation. I didn't hold out much hope. Um, and even if we had identified these items of jewellery, I mean, magic... Magic regeneration is fine, but minus five. So that would probably actually deplete our magic ability. Or at the very least, it wouldn't regenerate uh, very quickly. And strangulation, of course, is extremely bad. So we were really struggling for stuff there. Francium the Great. What a misnomer. All right, let's go again. Um, it's still early days at this point. I mean, it, it's not early days for me. It's about half past one in the morning. But let's give this a go. Fulan the Seeker. Uh, are you going to be fooling as much as your predecessor was? I'm so sorry. All right. Um, no, let's let's leave that as it is. That'll do. Come on then, fooling. 
Let's go. Hopefully, you're actually going to find some spell books with, you know, useful spells and stuff in them. These things do happen sometimes. What can also happen is that you get killed really, really early on. <sighs> Survived by the skin of our teeth. The skinniest of skin. Alright. Well, got some food. I mean, it's not exactly a great find. I'd rather have a spell book. Um... I'd rather have a potion, I'd rather have scrolls, but food will suffice for now. It will have to. Um, they were apples, <coughs> excuse me, apples, of course, which are among the most useful foods. I guess they help you out with poison effects. Um, hmm. But yeah, again, not feeling particularly great about our chances here. Um, time will tell. But I do feel like it's going to be a bit of a struggle. I just... I have that gut feeling, you know. Alright, let's smack down this goblin. Or rather, let our kitten smack him down for us. Because we are, of course, completely useless. At least until we find a spell book. And that is really pivotal to the use of the wizard, I think. Um, if you can get a couple of decent spells, he can be really, really effective. But until then, until you get spells, he's basically useless. He dropped all his kit down the ladder, so hopefully we'll find that when we get to the bottom. You're beginning to get hungry, so let's scarf a pair. Takes the edge off. Okay. So, don't want the club or the dagger. Another one of magic missile is very welcome, because of course... Your magic missile wand is basically the only advantage the wizard has at the start of the game. Um, am I going to have to eat some apples? Maybe I can hold out for some meat. If we actually kill anything that's made of meat, which doesn't seem to be happening so far. Hopefully it's not going to be one of those foodless runs. They're always frustrating. Okay, carrot. Another useful food, but not really what I was looking for. Um... We don't have any scrolls at the moment, which is kind of an issue. Because that means we don't have any teleports, we don't have any identifies. Um, none of those useful things. We're going to be very, very limited. Wooden broadsword. Okay, let's try it. We're going to be very, very limited. Um, wow, we don't have much accuracy, do we? Um, what was I saying? No, I don't know. Something about being limited. Um, yeah, we're going to be very limited in what we can do if we um, don't find some scrolls pretty soon. Because a lot of the most useful abilities are attached to scrolls. God. And we're, we're really suffering here. Let's start chucking some potion. Oh, that thing's already destroyed. So let's not, I guess. Alright, let's throw at this bugger. Okay. Um, don't know what that potion was, but gained us a level up. Ah, potion of acid. All right. So, as before, priority is to take a level of literacy so that we can read all spell books and we're not going to be stuck in a position um, where a potentially game-changing spell isn't available to us because we can't read the book. Okay, while those guys are standing atop each other in a slightly goofy fashion, let's chuck a potion at them. <laughs> Okay, and miss spectacularly. What about you? Eh, potion of oil. Not really that useful. Okay. Ah, uh, rat meat. At last. At last some real food. Okay. Now, let's continue snagging these gems and such. And although we probably don't have very much to offload on this guy, let's give it a try. Um... Before we do that, I'm going to read this scroll and see if it's an identify enchant armor. I thought I might be able to identify some of my gems and thus get more money for them, but never mind. We'll just I'll I'll keep the green ones and red ones in case they're gas stones or fire stones respectively. Um, I'm going to get rid of the potion of ink because I never use the things anyway. What else have we got? Um, don't know what these ones are, so I'll hang on to them. I will sell the staff and all the arrows. Good. Uh, does he have anything useful for us? 
Of course, we don't know mostly whether they're useful things. Yeah, because we've identified too little to know what any of these scrolls are. So let's just move on. Okay. So we are actually capable of killing a bat. That's something, I suppose. Kitten is struggling with a snake, but it worked out in the end. Ooh. Another scroll. Okay. Let's try this one. Scroll of Fire. My favourite. So we're going to have to take a rest here. Oh, leave me alone. And in a minute, we're going to have to dash past this um, sewer grate, which obviously might unleash the hordes of hell, or the hordes of rats, anyway. The hordes of rat-infested hell upon us as we pass by. It's a bit of a risk, and it's one that we're going to take the next time. Thanks for watching, as always. Come back the next time for more Wozhack. And also keep your eyes peeled for some new series, including um, a sequel series that a number of people have requested. Looking forward to doing that, so stick around and see what happens. Bye for now.